Hill Park Housing Estate at the moment uses electric storage heaters, which is an expensive way of producing heat that's not terribly convenient for the residents. This plan is to produce uh, hot water, warm enough to supply both the, the heating through radiators and the domestic hot water for showering from an air source heat pump. The advantage of the air source heat pump is we'll deliver nearly three units of heat for every unit of electricity we produce. So we can produce heat at a lower cost. We can produce heat without consuming as much electricity and therefore carbon footprint. Additionally, local aspects such as not having um, emissions are a big advantage for, for communities. The last thing people really want is swapping from uh, clean electricity to burning something uh, to produce uh, heat, which is uh, giving us increasing problems of air quality in, in cities. So this is a brilliant opportunity at Hill Park to do cheaper, cleaner heat um, whilst uh, providing a good service to the, the residents. The UK's got a really interesting climate. It doesn't get terribly warm, it doesn't get terribly cold, but that makes it perfect for both water source and air source heat pumps. Generally, the, the differentiation between the two is smaller s solutions would, would perhaps be better done with air source, but larger solutions, so above 500 kilowatts, would work better with water source. Taking the River Clyde, for example, there's enough heat in that for half a million houses. So what we can do is harvest heat from the rivers, which actually are tending to warm up, and that's creating an environmental problem. We can be part of the solution of keeping the rivers at the right temperature, delivering heat into existing buildings. The key thing about existing buildings is they do need heat at fairly high temperatures. Historically, heat pumps have tended to be good for about 45 degrees. Now we are able to, and we've proven this several, several times, we can get up to 90 degrees, which means that we can retrofit into existing buildings. So all of a sudden, instead of burning gas for, for heating, uh, companies and businesses have uh, opportunities to do lower carbon and lower cost solutions. An added spin-off is that we can produce cooling as well. So as more and more data centers are, are built, more and more offices need cooling because of more computers, we can actually deliver heating and cooling at the same time 